Terrible. Play that intro song. Play that funky intro song. Get off the tracks. Get off the fucking tracks. <laughs> you hear the train whistle, don't you? Get off the fucking tracks. <laughs> there's, no, there's no crack on those tracks. Get off the tracks. <laughs> Homeless people, they always want to go on the fucking tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yeah! Observational uh, homeless tree <laughs> murder <laughs> bits. Why? That is a good point. Why are they always sleeping on the tracks? Get off the fucking train. We tracks. got the Holtzman Express with us live on Beach Cop's first time ever. Well, how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> how do you do, Beach Cop fans? You <laughs> wonderful bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I've never uh, met you before Brian It's nice to meet you Nice to meet you How's, how's your meeting gone so far? It's gone well. He told me to get rid of this dead weight over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's your go-to line every time you meet someone that knows me. Somebody's got this, their footwear for St. Patty's Day. I can see Hey, that. I'm That's Irish. Very nice. You know, you, know, uh, you know what the most important invention of mankind is and will always be? What's that? Worldwide, the most important invention is the wheelbarrow. The wheelbarrow. Because it enabled the Irishman to walk up on his hind legs. <laughs> <laughs> How does an Irishman say excuse me at a bar, a crowded bar? Get the fuck out of the way! Get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> I didn't know you were bringing anti-Irish. Oh, man. Wait, aren't you Irish? Irish. I wasn't Irish. I, I was, uh, no. Why, why would I, do I look Irish? Do I look drunk right now? <laughs> Brian O'Holzman. What is your background? Hey, you got to plug that computer. Oh, yeah, good point. What is your background? <laughs> My background? Oh, it's about 71 inches. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What is this, a job what interview? Is <laughs> what is this, a job interview? What is your background? If it's you don't a, know my background by now. It's a 23 and me. I I'm a retired a dog catcher, okay? And slash plane mechanic. <laughs> yeah, that's entirely believable. And well, plane mechanic. No, he's not. It is that true. Is, that's it, real. Right there at that pier. Yeah. He used to catch dogs. 15 years of solid service to the community of Manhattan Beach. Thank yeah. you for your service. But couldn't get along with my coworkers. Couldn't get along with the fucking co- Who can? Everybody hates their coworkers. <laughs> That's true. It's not the job. It's who you have to fucking work with at that job. How'd you get along yeah. with the dogs? Dogs are fine. You meet a dog, you put him in a kennel for 10 minutes, and that dog acts like he's known you for 30 fucking years. You carry any treats? Treats? Shit, we have dog bones in there. Sure, we have treats. A little peanut butter? Yeah, sometimes I put it on the head of my dick and let the dog suck me off. What do you mean, treats? What's going on? Oh, O'Neal tried to do that. Do you know that? Are you, are you uh, still in that crack house? <laughs> now, I will say, you met my wife, oh, and you apologize. Let me tell you this. I met his wife. Holy yeah. cow, what a doll. What a doll. <laughs> what a you beautiful, her around. beautiful body. Just the same. <laughs> they they were like two matching bookends, these two. I said, man, I said, you know, no offense, but I'd really like to watch you two have sex. <laughs> right? You know, nothing, they, nothing dirty. Yeah, or no, just traditional. <laughs> yeah, traditional. Just traditional uh, missionary. Did they missionary. oblige? God, what's her name again? Catherine? <laughs> <laughs> Catherine O'Hara. <Yeah. laughs> Catherine O'Neill. Oh, she was a doll. We met at the 50th anniversary of the comedy store. Okay. You, did a, you, you made her do a little, you go, hey, do a little turn for me. Turn, turn, spin. Let me see the, let me see where the shit rolls out of your hole. <laughs> <laughs> let me see that pooper. Come on, let me see what the toilet sees on a regular basis. Come on, let me see that hole. Let me see the hole, you know. That is, that is a classic holesmanism. Let me see that hole. Yeah. Is that true? Well, they, oh, yeah. I don't think the asshole gets the attention it deserves. Hey, I agree with you. I agree. And this, this guy, guy won't eat the ass. This guy loves, he loves the ass. He loves to see where the shit comes out. Well, that's, that, that, that's, a, that's, that, that, that's a bigger man than me. It's uh, <laughs> jelly in the donut, man. Yeah, it's, it's a popular you, hole. It really you is. Like to, <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> the kids today love asshole. <laughs> Some people say it might be the second most popular hole on the body. You know, the, the, you can't say certain words, but you can eat all the asshole you want, these young kids, you know? <laughs> That's this, true. Uh, this young kid over here. It. I'll take it. Yeah. Let me see that hole. Uh, so I understand you. this is like we're doing a little uh, Byron Allen's Comics Unleashed. So I heard Weather you, Channel? Heard Weather you, Channel? <laughs> I heard you've been traveling recently. Oh, yes. I was in Europe for a month. You're an international man of mystery. These oh days. yeah, I'm, I'm 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 not working anymore, so I'm just gonna. As soon as I see an opportunity, I'm going. I saw a video of you in Morocco. Well, what do you mean? How are you gonna travel and work the road? <laughs> oh, do I want to go to Europe or Thailand, or do I want to work Chuckle Hut in the middle of fucking nowhere <laughs> where they don't even know how to set up a comedy club? <laughs> it looks like a bingo hall. Oh, let's work a casino in the middle of fucking nowhere in the Midwest. Oh, sign me up. Do you want to go to Europe or Thailand, or do you want to do comic in front of a bunch of fucking assholes? <laughs> oh yeah, I want to go and do comedy <laughs> in a bunch of fucking assholes for fifteen hundred dollars. Fuck you. So you weren't doing shows in Morocco? <laughs> no. So, so do you have any shows booked coming up? Did you go to oh, Morocco? Oh, yeah, I'm going to Skankfest. Oh, you are? Skankfest. Skankfest, Las <laughs> Vegas. You going to eat some ass at Skankfest? Shit. What, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> You're going back. I heard in Texas you were a fan favorite. Oh, I don't know. what. I, I, maybe when uh, Mr. Rogan's club opens up, they'll have me over there. Who knows? What's going on with that? I'm here in January. You want me to put a word in with Adam Egan? <laughs> Talent court. Adam Agut? Yeah. Yeah, if you can find him between him and his ego. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to get to him, you know. Shots fired. Yeah, when he comes in the door, you know, his ego gets here 15 minutes before he does. <laughs> Holy cow, I've never He's seen like such a... He's like the nicest guy. Nicest guy. He's an egomaniac. He's got a big dick. Big dick shit, energy. That's that what I heard. Yeah. Who's bigger, him or uh, Errol Sankel? Errol Sankel. <laughs> Errol Sankel? Frankly, he's got the... His, you know, ankle, he's always bragging about from, the size of his... From the coffee? From Sanka? The coffee? Earl Sankel? <laughs> the wrestling fan? The guy who's living in the, in the 70s with the I, wrestling? I think Egot's got the bigger dick. Is Shit. that true? Yeah. He is a huge hog. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. I think he was having sex with he every waitress at like the place, it. wasn't he? Oh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> You'll have to ask him. Good to see you the other night. You Saturday can tell, night, you can so tell which ones uh, were limping, uh, if, if they were. Uh, Right. It was good to see you as well. You were catching up with an old friend of yours. And uh, I missed you. You were on the I show. I saw you walking by, and I yelled, but you were with a buddy. You, wouldn't, you, shouldn't, you didn't yell that loud. <laughs> <laughs> I did yell kind of quietly. Jeez. Hey, hey, quiet yells. Well, how, was, uh, how were all your travels? What happened? Uh, unbelievable. What does Brian Holtzman do in Thailand on, on a day? I, uh, I'm doing a, a, a research documentary slash book on... Uh, the trial and tribulations of a, a bar girl in a woke world. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> of a what girl? A bar girl? In a woke world. Do you elaborate a little <laughs> more on that? I think that was pretty fucking clear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The what? trial and tribulations of a bar girl in a woke world. Does that mean a prostitute? What's a bar girl? Like a bar fly? A bar girl is somebody you can eat her ass all day long. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. Okay. So uh, you don't know what a, you tell a bar girl. You know what a bar girl. Is. Yeah. Girl, they, we, by the way, we have children at the show. Oh so wow. Please, Let uh, me see. Here, this go ahead. Let me sit it. on my lap. That's, that's my son. <laughs> sit on my lap, and we'll talk about the first thing that comes up. Oh. <laughs> Somebody said you're coming in hot. I don't think you are. This is uh, pretty mild. Yeah. This is. <laughs> It's a mild salsa. A traditional Holtz. greeting from Holtzman <laughs> is like this. I want one of these. I want one of these. A dead baby doll? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, could, we could give you that if you want it for a few weeks. You see a newborn baby. Some of them, they look like Jesus. Oh, what a beautiful baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Put it back in. Put it back in. It's got its, it's the same weight, too. It's got a, yeah, it's very realistic. What it's, is, realistic. it's stuffed with uh, real baby guts, it, guts and stuff. Really? <laughs> Well, that's you can feel them. They're nice and squishy like a regular baby. Wow. <laughs> you really wow. meant it. Okay. <laughs> they had to take out. It, it got shipped to us from England. Allegedly. Allegedly. What Oz? How, so you were there researching this documentary? Yes. And I was also fixing the, some of the items I had to fix on my hotel. 
I have a, a hotel motel. Uh, is this is this a real thing? Because I've heard this before. Is this and, real? Uh, you'd be surprised how many repairs have to be made. Doorknobs need to be replaced. <laughs> you fly with toilet paper to stock it up. Sheets what? sheets need to be replaced. Do you go to? Do you stop by Home Depot on the way to LAX before you fly? No, out? I got I, I I source everything from uh, from Thailand. Okay. I try to support the local economy as much that's, as I can. That makes that's right. Sense. Very kind yeah. of you. Think globally. Shop locally. My Sharona. <laughs> it's uh, it's like we never left that episode you did of Danish and O'Neill when you were doing oh, My Sharona. Oh, God, yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I do remember you did sing that quite a bit. Oh, that's a great song. <laughs> you do karaoke with that. No, my, my, my two goat uh, karaoke... Kara- <laughs> Karaoke. <laughs> Karaoke song is uh, Don't Let Me Down by the Beatles. Oh, nice. Only because... Can you sing a little now? The, the Don't Let Me Down repeats very, very much. So it counts. It yeah. cuts down on 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 on, oh. on the lyrics. Why don't you do like? <laughs> right. Why don't you do Enya? Just like kind of noises, like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you can do that. It <laughs> sounds like cows. That's my favorite Enya song. <laughs> I like my women like I like my little <laughs> Darren Carter, the party starter. <laughs> <laughs> I had the greatest time working with Darren Carter the other night. I couldn't believe he was bringing me up. I, I it I, went me, I, Darren saw, Carter, than you. Uh, an order that's never been done, and I to saw, my knowledge, and and and. and, and and I saw Jay London was in the house. Yeah. Oh, this uh, is real old school. Uh, uh, yeah, Jay's been hanging out lately. I'm getting spots. People. Darren Carter's a great guy. You'll never see me again, Brian. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like uh, Emily's doing a great job. Yeah. yeah. She, she, no ego on her. I will tell you this, though. One of my friends saved the uh, L.A. Times uh, comedy section from August. Did you get a chance to see yeah. the 50th anniversary article? Yeah. yeah. All they talked they, about. They didn't call me. All they talked about was all the special people we have today. Well, were, were you in there? No. Was Eleanor? She's in, she gets in everything. She wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know she was at the LA Times. Good what for about her. that football player? He bumped his head and they're making a big thing about it. Oh, he showed his fucking dick at the, in Dubai. No, that's Antonio Brown. You're talking two different guys. Oh. Antonio Brown <laughs> went a uh, big old hog out of the water in Dubai yeah. and put his ass right in a woman's face. <laughs> but to uh, yeah, right. Tagalovo, I don't know how to say his last well, name. She was asking for it. He, he got concussed, but they let him play uh, like on a short week after already being concussed. They said it was a back injury and that his hands were seizing up, oh, which God. is a sign of a brainstem injury. Oh, no. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they'll put him right back in. Yeah. Here's yeah. some cortisone shots. Get back in there. Get, in there. Get back in there. We're going to win. The only thing that matters in this country is pussy, steak, <laughs> and the score of the fucking game. We don't give a fuck about anything else. <laughs> the big fucking game. And our light beer. We got to drink light beer because we're watching our weight, you know? <laughs> they fired the doctor who, Diet uh, who cleared beer. him initially. Is that true? Yeah, they fired him. And is he a per- he's probably going to be a vegetable. Ah, uh, so far he's okay. Everyone on Twitter took note of they, the the coach said he sat next to me on the flight home and we were watching MacGruber and he was laughing and everyone took note of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's fine. He just has a little bit of a twitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a cool job. What a great promo from a Gruber. <laughs> so people, funny that even if you have a brainstem injury, you're going to laugh. You know, a lot of people were shitting on MacGruber. Then I saw other people like, if you're shitting on MacGruber, you, don't, you just don't I get watched it. the funniest movie. Definitely. Especially if you're concussed. I, I was watching, uh, I watched the uh, Las Vegas Raiders beat the uh, 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 Denver Broncos. Was it Denver? Are you a big sports fan? I, I, I'm, I'm becoming more and more. Okay. In I, your retirement, you got more time now to watch the game. No, no, I don't get most of the... Uh, 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 <laughs> my pills! My pills! Get my fucking pills out of my bag! I've got to be on narcotics! I have to be on narcotics! Get the hustler bag. I'm an American. I need the fucking pill for every little fucking ailment I have. I've got to have a pill. Take a pill. Take a pill. Take a pill. Pill, pill, pill. I noticed you have a hustler bag. Are you going on a trip after this? Oh, I brought some things for you guys. Is this your luggage? I brought some fucking things. He's taking the train. (laughs) Taking the train to Larry Flint's house. I also brought... uh, 
uh, since my podcast is up in the air, I just bought letters for all occasions, if you're interested for letters for all occasions. <laughs> okay. that, can you read us a little bit of it? Oh, yes, I can. I can. Maybe we'll get to that. How long is this fucking show going to be? It's six How, hours. Yeah, but we're here till midnight. Yeah. <laughs> my Holtzman. Oh, you got oh, a you got- bookmark. <laughs> Where's that postcard from? This one is from uh, New York City. Hey, oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Twin <laughs> Towers, beautiful. That's a that is a collector's item right there. Fabulous New York skyline. Oh. Did you buy those when it's the Twin changed. Towers were still intact? <laughs> it's beautiful. I was on the Twin Towers on the antenna. Oh, catching a dog? You were catching a dog? <laughs> a comic who said he was on the inside the building when it came down or something? Yeah, we know him. It was yeah. Ari Shafir. <laughs> yeah. I know another guy who did too, but he died. Oh. In the tower? No. Later? Yeah. <laughs> Those new glasses? No, no, I've had these for quite some time. Okay. This guy okay. doesn't know what your did glasses Did you highlight these yourself? Yeah, it was for his college course on, no, on no. letters of no, education. My, my executive assistant did it after I banged her in the ass. You know? Well, it could be a used copy in his defense. Dear Stephen, it was good of you to send it. So an an odd you chose your Stephen. Marriage. I received it yesterday, and I want to send my congratulations and best wishes to you and your bride immediately. Although I'm sorry to say we did not have the opportunity of becoming very well acquainted before you left our office. I always felt we had much in common, and I do appreciate this courtesy you have shown me. Sincerely yours, Floyd Bergman. <laughs> what is this for? Yeah. You, you can use that, or is just yeah, just to read the it's correspondence? A it's a launching point for bits. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, so that's for anybody named... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So what do you like? What, what do you use this book for? Well, I used to use it on my uh, my dead air uh, Holtzman presentation podcast. Oh, oh cool. that's right. Yeah, you would you would often. There's a segment that I loved. You would do some long winded uh, reading sections as people listened. <laughs> oh, and they couldn't take it quietly. They couldn't fucking take it. I heard uh, somebody's offspring walked off the show over uh, some bits on there. Yeah, we had some uh, 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 Andrew Dice Clay's. Uh, <laughs> Uh, sons uh, Well one of them Didn't want to leave But he, he was driving So he, he had to leave The other one <laughs> <laughs> If one left The other one had to leave They came in the same vehicle That's so, uh, You gotta uh, make sure People have different vehicles In case somebody leaves So uh, Let me see Here, How about this Would you like this what, what is this? Fucking ice cube dispenser. Uh, dispenser? <laughs> yeah. That's great. Is that a yeah. silicone? Sh- what is that called? Who wants some shave cream? You, you know, gotta, I actually need some shave cream. You got to talk into that, where, Mike. Also. Where did you get this? I want from? some shave cream. <laughs> <laughs> where did you get this? Duty free? I, uh, uh, I I get a lot of things from tiny time to microphone. Time and- <laughs> Oh, you're passing it down? I'll take then. tiny microphone. <laughs> oh, a tiny microphone keeps <laughs> on. It's because I heard Holtzman. Hey. Look, look at it. It's, it's, it's uh, on brand. How about a... How about a a Trump, a Trump, a Trump, Trump uh, lanyard uh, holder? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, wait. Uh, Andrew does a great Donald Trump impression. I do not. <laughs> My brother Bruce is a big Trump uh, enthusiast. I love, I love your brother Bruce. <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> How would you like a 50th anniversary comedy store t shirt? I think uh, you guys have those, right? That's for you guys. What size? I have one, yeah, but you, you should have one. You what should what have size one. is it? Extra fat? <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> Yeah, extra, extra fat. Extra fat. <laughs> <laughs> You're in luck. <laughs> Great. Here's a nice New York. Uh, who wants this? So, one? are a lot of these clothes made in your <laughs> hotel in, China, in Thailand? Uh, I'm not a big fan of green. I'll oh, put it on my lap. Hey, you know, now. maybe you should take them to match your. Fit. Oh yeah, here I'll take them over yeah, here. There you I'll, go. I'll wear this. <laughs> and that, by the way, this will fade right into the uh, scenery. Oh my God, it really this does. It. Put it on. Hey, uh, Brian, why'd you give us a ghost shirt? <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a hologram. Pretty cool. Look at that right there, New York. Next stop, Bangkok. Yeah, <laughs> one night in Bangkok. Oh, hey, God. so you filmed a you. 
recorded a special recently uh, in Thailand. Yes. I heard. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on with that? Uh, the latest I heard is it's pa- out of the coloring. You know, where they, I thought you were going to say Patton Pendig. Where they uh, Patton Oswalt. They. Uh, it was filmed at the Comedy Store, and uh, I saw it. They were filmed maybe like thirteen or fourteen different sets. Bill uh, Bill Burr uh, is the executive producer, and Peter Shore, the owner of uh, the illustrious Peter Comedy Shore. Store, and uh, it's it's done with the coloring portion where they match the uh, different cameras for the color. Uh huh. <laughs> the most important part of and, it. Uh, oh, a mini comedy special. <laughs> yeah. What they col- uh, what I, color are they going to make you? Oh, well, I want to be Asian. I want oh. to be, be a kind of like a Korean. That's and, cool. Uh, uh, so they dog. Maybe it. they should put Bobby Lee's face over your face. Oh, and deep fake it? Yeah. Oh, that would be great. And uh, is that why you went to Thailand just to try to get more at one with the Asian people? I, I couldn't pass up the trip. Uh, my friend uh, who worked for United Airlines, who took the buyout and who's retired now, had one buddy pass left. Oh wow! So he said, "You want to go?" So I went all the way to Thailand for zero. Did you go with? Wow. Did you go with them, or you went? Yeah, uh, uh, with we, the guy. We, uh, we even sat together and held each other's dick. But, uh, <laughs> first class? Uh, we didn't get first class. No. Okay. <laughs> just checking. Just checking. <laughs> How long did he work? Yeah, how to bring time. that up? <laughs> yeah, how to fucking bring that up? But we did get the bulk seat. We got the bulk seat. So the was, bulk seat. You know, the bulk seat next to the exit. That's uh, okay. They call okay. that the Costco seat. Get it in bulk. And uh, <laughs> and uh, so it was great. And uh, so I spent my birthday uh, at thirty eight thousand feet. Uh, uh, and my birthday eastbound. Yes. How was your birthday? It was very nice. I, I called, left you a message. Never heard back from you. I thought you were dead. Well, you get those roaming charges in Thailand. Yeah, you can't I, call this guy back. Yeah, I, I, the phone wasn't operating properly uh, at that distance. Uh, so what do you do usually when you go to Thailand? What's an average day in Thailand look like for Holt? I get up. I stretch. I shower. What do you eat there? I uh, uh, ma- I, I, uh I lady pluck, boy's ass. I pluck, <laughs> pluck my lady boy <laughs> <laughs> for the day. You find the one for the day. And uh, I just, I just go around. You know, I, I just kind of like to. I'm not the kind of person who goes on holiday and tries to do everything. Yeah. I don't need people. You've been there a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. Though. People come back from vacation and they need a vacation from their vacation. Yeah. That's not. You know, <laughs> oh, I was so exhausted. Well, you kept doing stuff you jackass <laughs> just go there and relax so you just sit around eat I some relax. food i have friends there that i know thai food. friends thai friends huck I, from the the old bartender from the comedy store i take uh uh what do you call it waltz uh waltz uh dance lessons while i'm there <laughs> yeah. you know uh, what style of competitive dance? dancing you know just in case they want me to be on Dancing with the Stars. A lot of people say if you're going to take lessons, you should go to Thailand to I do it. That. Yeah. that and uh, surgery to become a man or woman. Well, uh, uh, that's none of your goddamn business. You know, Are you know. looking into it? You'd make a good female comic. Uh, that'd, be, that'd, be <laughs> that'd be the craziest shit in the world. That'd be great. That'd be great, yeah. Very a Holtzman with huge titties <laughs> and a vagina going, eat my hole, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to show you the whole. Yeah, all, all, all the other female comics are talking about their clits, right? <laughs> yeah. That's you all talk they about talk it. about is their yeah. clits. That's you know? what I hear. And a, guy talks, and a guy talks about a dick joke, and all of a sudden, oh, he's dirty, and he's blue. <laughs> what about all these bitches talking about their clit? No, the clit, the clit, the clit. We know about the clit, okay? Did you hear? Did you see that guy? He was, uh, he'd was. he been at Apple for 22 years. He was the vice president of procurements, and he got canned because he made a joke when a guy came up to him at a car show he goes what do you do for a living you have a nice car and he goes i have rich cars and i like to fondle big-breasted women on the weekends and they fired him they fired him and he had a large-breasted woman in the passenger seat yeah it's just it's all bullshit i blame it on the colleges i blame it on the media i blame it on (laughs) uh, you know it's just the whole thing is like it's just too much you know has that not hit thailand yet no, Thailand does. It's Thailand is most of the world is not like America. They don't give a fuck. They don't care. Everybody minds their business. There's nobody that's minding their any their business here. Yeah. Somebody I'd- wants to have their dick pulled off or had one added. Who cares? Is that going to affect me? <laughs> Just let me know before I come over <laughs> what I'm dealing with. That's all. You want to know if it's a two dick, one guy situation? Jesus, Jesus. Oh, where, where are they going to put your special out? Because 
you know, I saw some of the filmings, and there's, you know, you, you like to push the boundary a little bit. <laughs> Doesn't sound oh, maybe like nobody. Right. No, I'm prepared for whatever outcome is coming. What if it's huge in Thailand? I, well, I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be good in France. <laughs> that was the goal? My goal was the markets in French. 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 <laughs> <laughs> French dressing. Yeah. French dresser. I just found out I'm, just found out I'm di 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 dyslexic. Hey, <laughs> so are O'Neill and I. Yeah. Welcome to, the, welcome to the club. But you read pretty well. Yeah, those letters just came off perfectly. I have some more, too, if you're interested. Lance Bergman or whoever that was. And uh, you sing my Serona pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> do you do? Do you do karaoke in Thailand? Uh, I didn't do any. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> there did, you go. Did you and your buddy <laughs> karaoke? Uh, you karaoke. And your, you yeah. and your buddy have adjoining rooms. <laughs> you. What are you waiting for an hour? <laughs> don't, don't let me hang in here. <laughs> you and your buddy have adjoining rooms. No, no, he stayed at the Holiday Inn. I was at another location. You in a nicer place? 20 bucks a night. 20 bucks a night? <laughs> Why splurge? 20 Jesus. bucks a night at a Vietnam era room. <laughs> what does That's that mean? They you give can you see a, it on my YouTube channel. They what, give you a bayonet? Do they tell you you can only walk and follow the path because there's landmines <laughs> in the hallway? No, 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 no. They didn't do that. They did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you been to Cambodia? <laughs> no, I haven't been to Cambodia. Right. I'm going to Cambodia with my wife. When? Oh, oh that, 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 that. Your wife? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate, some fans wanted to know, did you get the seafood tower while you were in Thailand? No, I didn't get the seafood tower, but in Bangkok, I had all-you-can-eat lobster tail. Wait, was that where that lobster tail, you had six I lobsters? I was hanging out with, That's do you lot. know a guy named Bill Kirkenbauer? <laughs> Bill no. Kirkenbauer? Who's that? He's a comic. Uh, no. And he, he lives in Bangkok now, so I, I, I looked him up from social media. And I'm we, not that in touch with the Bangkok comedy scene these days. He's retired now. He lives there with his wife and son. I heard it's real clicky. And, <laughs> and uh, he wasn't too impressed with it. He said he went to a place and he didn't say. Anyway, it was a restaurant, all you can eat, lobster. He wasn't place. impressed with the lobster place. But it no, was he was. Oh. Oh, it was great. What was he unimpressed with? Bangkok? The comedy scene? This comedy scene. Ah. Oh, yeah. I, would like, I, I thought it was better. <laughs> I thought Carlin was How many here. nights were you in Bangkok? <laughs> Three nights. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was just on my Did way. Did you know that Rogan and Hinchcliffe were thinking about going to Bangkok? Oh. Because it's a toss-up between Austin and Bangkok for the comedy <laughs> scene. Oh. Kill, <laughs> kill Ty Tony. That'd be crazy. Actually, I think Bangkok would be cooler. <laughs> Yeah, you could do comedy on a tuk tuk. That's true. You could tuk tuk your penis. Yeah, there's a lot of people tuk tucking the penises. Up there. This is Holtzman's old motorcycle. I got audio of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> we recorded you leaving the comedy <laughs> store parking lot. There you go. Yeah. I, now you just got a 10 speed. You drive around Sunset Boulevard. No, I got a motorcycle still. <clears throat> you got one? What do you got? 1100 Honda. It's one of my favorites. 2001. Is that true, Danny? I what, like the 1000 uh, uh, a little more. <laughs> Uh, what do they call it? It's like the pan, uh, Pandemic. European pan. It's like the motorcycle you see in front of like uh, uh, marathons and uh, and uh, cycle races. You know those like upright. A oh, you're talking like oh yeah yeah like a safety uh, motorcycle. Right. Like yeah. you would see out on a track telling people, slow down. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the police officers. Uh, yeah. With the Hondas, that type of style. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I it looks like, like a cop bike. Uh, well, they they utilize that style of motorcycle. Yes. So you're like one of the guys on the highway. Everyone slows down. Like, oh, it's it's only Holtzman. It's not a good no, one. it's red. So they wouldn't. Okay. They wouldn't, they wouldn't confuse that with that. <laughs> what do you, Stevie? You wonder why you turn your head so rapidly. <laughs> Did everybody see Elvis? Yeah, I, I watched. What you yeah. think of Elvis? I saw I, him in concert. I thought it was hilarious that uh, it's exactly like the Dewey Scott story, but a <laughs> legitimate drama. Oh, you mean uh, the John C. Riley <laughs> Dewey yeah. Cox? Yeah, the Dewey Cox story. I saw it. Um, I thought I wanted to see more of the molestation that he was into. I wanted to see him uh, croak <laughs> on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> croak on the? Oh, they didn't have that. Yeah, yeah. he didn't have him on the toilet. Taking his last bite of fucking peanut butter and banana sandwich. They, they, the, the actor the said he fell into a deep rut after that role. Is that true? Yeah, he said well, because he he's done. He's never. He'll never work again. Why? Just because he's Elvis now? Yeah. 
That's it. That's <laughs> no one's going to see him as anything he else. Can play, <laughs> you can play Elvis Costello. <laughs> you can only play Elvis roles. That's <laughs> true. You might see him at a butter commercial, but he's done. A he's butter done. commercial? <laughs> I wanted to see more of the slumber parties he used to have with 14-year-old girls. They right. said, I saw it was like a real whitewashed version. It was like celebrating him instead of showing any flaws. Colonel Tom Parker, what did you think of Tom Hanks' performance in there? Tom Papa. I liked it because Tom Hanks finally played a scumbag. Well, he played Mr. Rogers before. Mr. Rogers was big into <laughs> weird shit. Is that true? Mr. Yeah. Rogers was a Marine. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he killed babies in Vietnam. That's, That's not, not true. true. <laughs> the, the, the Marine thing's not <laughs> true. Not, he was never, Wait, he did he, go to the college he I was went never. to, though. Yeah. What? At the same time I went. He was older. A couple of years. <laughs> it was me, Big Earl, and Mr. Rogers. <laughs> He's getting his creative writing degree. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's a beautiful day in Manhattan Beach. <laughs> Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I'm fucking ran dry. How many minutes have we done? It's 30 minutes you got, deep. You got Holtzman scanning while he looks at the floor. <laughs> I got a question for Holtzman. You're big, you have a big sweet tooth. Am I right on that? Oh, God. Damn. What's oh, your shit. favorite Halloween candy? Oh, it's got to be uh, Pips. What Pe the fuck peeps. are Pips? Peeps. I did see they make Halloween Peeps. peeps. I saw that in the store, and I thought of you because I know peeps. you love Peeps. Anything with marshmallow. You love Peeps. Anything with this marshmallow. This guy on chocolate. Easter time, buy, you buy the Peeps after Easter. That's crazy. On sale. You, you just taste them? Oh, fucking marshmallow. I love fucking marshmallow. <laughs> Do you like Count Chocula cereal with the big chocolate marshmallow Draculas? You know what? That reminds me. I'm going to be in San Francisco on the 28th and 29th of October doing a late night uh, adult uh, show. <laughs> Sounds what like a porno. What are you doing? In, I in, mean, in, most uh, <laughs> most comedy shows are adult. In, in, in Chinatown. Oh. Who are you going with? At the Start Theater. Probably going to just go by myself. Really? What do I need? An entourage? Well, I, don't, I, mean, you, you, I, I, I know you've done some road no, dates with Eleanor Kerrigan. Uh, some Reno, yeah, we some Reno, Kerrigan, Reno, Holtzman. and Las Vegas. Yeah, so, yeah. So that's what I wasn't out of line asking that. Fourteen so, shows. Fourteen. Fourteen, 14 shows. shows. She, she said you have a knack for befriending almost every hotel employee. Is that true? I don't know. Is that because is that because you're a hotel owner? Could be a wife's tale coming from a woman. You know, who knows what a woman says when a woman's talking to you? You know, it's bullshit. You know, it's made up. They're trying to make conversation. They're they're they're, they're insecure with their body. Maybe their sexual life isn't going well. They don't know what the fuck is coming out of a woman's mouth. Uh, oh, you can't say that. That's not woke. Oh, that's woke. Oh, shut the fuck up. I am so sick and tired of what you can say and you can't say. But I will say it was at Denny's this morning and the waitress called me honey oh and I looked at her did you sue her I said what did you call me <laughs> she thought I was gonna report it to the manager <laughs> I said, what did the manager say when you reported her oh I didn't report her I said you know you can call me honey any day. You know, you can't even call a woman that you don't know, honey. How old? You know, thank you to DMV, any place. <laughs> thanks, honey. Especially oh, thanks, in the DMV. Thanks, honey. Oh, did yeah. you call me honey? Well, I wonder, you know, oh, oh, I do it to, oh, I do it to oh. men. <laughs> you know, the worst part is you can't say sugar tits anymore either. <laughs> to a dude. <laughs> or a woman that you just met. Or loose lips, you know, loose lips. Loose lips. <laughs> loose lips. Six chips. That's, that's a tough one, too. <laughs> Or Cunhart. God. It's or show me your hole. Show me your hole. Just show me where the poop SMH. Is. You need an SMH T-shirt. You, you can't even call a waitress cum wagon anymore. No. <laughs> that is true. It's one of the worst things that's ever happened in society. You can't call a woman a shooter. <laughs> a shooter? A what, shooter. What about a squirter? A squirter. Or a squirter. That's what I meant. Is that <laughs> that's what I thought you meant. Is that what they called them when you were younger? <laughs> yeah, it's 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 out of, uh, out of I don't care. I, you know, I, I don't care. I don't have to worry about a, a, a cancellation notice or anything like that. I I I, I say whatever. You got a pension. Was. You're above yeah, you're, the law. You've set you've set yourself up where you doesn't two matter. pensions. <laughs> He's got two pensions. You're a pensioner and one on the way. Really? <laughs> Third one. You're, you're pregnant with a pension. <laughs> What's it do? A pensioner. What's it? Wait. 
You've got your dog catcher position. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> off, off, off. <laughs> you got your. <laughs> That's how you describe your <laughs> retirement pension. <laughs> off. <laughs> You've got your aircraft pension. You got. Uh, you got. You, you're in Manhattan Beach, California. It's one of the uh-huh. most wealthy enclaves in the whole country we picked up a dog one time out of a car and these women they came up to these these women these 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 people who have no clue where they are and they wanted to know oh what's gonna happen to the dog what's gonna happen to the dog i said i'm going to take it back to the station and blow it <laughs> what do you mean what's going to happen to the dog? You're in Manhattan Beach, California, the most richest fucking town in the whole country. What do you think's going to happen to the dog? We're going to make sausages out of him? We're going to make sure he's fine. We're going to feed him. We're going to find his owner. Nothing's going to happen to the fucking dog. People don't they, they don't have a fucking clue. I wish they'd all bust them to some of these other places in the world, you know, uh-huh. and see what's really going on. Yeah, yeah. I don't get why you you had any problem, with fellow employees. It sounds oh, like your attitude geez, was right, bought, right on the level. Everybody knows employees that don't mind their business. <laughs> they want to know who's off. Oh, why did he get the time off? Oh, uh, oh he, he took my vehicle. Oh, why is he leaving early? They don't mind their fucking business. It was everybody's job to keep an eye on Holtzman. What's Holtzman doing? What's Holtzman doing? One time I did a fucking, I was doing my Instagram videos, you know, the 60-second Instagram shit. Yeah. And I was at work. So I was putting a, a civilian jacket over my uniform, and they told me to stop doing that. You know, stop doing that. Even though you couldn't identify, I was working for the, for yeah. the, you know, and all the other employees watching me. And then, you know, oh, oh, what's the old? Mind your fuck. Don't you have a family? Don't you have children? Why do you give a fuck what Holtzman's doing at work? You're not the supervisor. Why do you care? <laughs> And this is this is just like this is this is what the you work- got you got written up and you had to actually written go up, written to- up they moved my locker into the fucking office because I was in the office so much. <laughs> but you had a problem with a woman there and she actually filed a complaint against oh, you. Oh, she didn't? filed a complaint, did she? Do you think there was sexual? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think there was sexual tension? <laughs> <laughs> Did they ever come to your shows, these employees? They were even looking at my fucking... They had me on a case. And then they brought me in to tell me that there was another case. When did you ever hear of somebody getting a double fucking case? They were watching my video... My, uh, 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 what do you call it? Podcast. Karaoke. Podcast. They were watching my podcast. Watching your Thailand reality show. <laughs> Unbelievable. Bar, bar. What was it? Bar ladies with bar problems. Jeez. Mary and Joseph. Bar la- a bar lady in a woke world. In a woke world. Would you go back for twenty grand a day? No, I don't need the money. <laughs> All right. Why would I go back for um, twenty grand a day? Now, when you were an airplane mechanic, Eleanor said she was waiting to take a flight once. And she saw you walk off the plane after doing some repairs. And she said that you walked by her and said, you're not taking this flight, are you? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't take this fucking flight. This flight's going to fucking crash. Yeah, then, you, then you threw a bunch of screws in the air. And said, yeah, oh, we didn't need them anyway. <laughs> one, one, one time I went up and cut some, uh, th- some thread off a carpet and some passenger i think it was going to hawaii and he's they said oh i hope i hope that i hope that thread is not connected to the engine <laughs> i said that's the only thread that's connected to the engine did you get in trouble no <laughs> i got some questions for you here from uh if you want to ask questions is this streaming live oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 join the ten dollar a month on patreon if you want to get those questions in live and sunday live. sunday <laughs> <laughs> raceway park new jersey <laughs> Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> uh, somebody said, I think this is a wise guy. They said, what dog tastes the best? Uh, what come to- on. What Chihuahua. Dog? Okay. <laughs> no hesitation. You, ever eat a, you eat a Chihuahua out? Someone says, uh, what's the worst <laughs> dog to catch? A German Shepherd that's just been uh, neutered, who's uh, got a cone around his neck and is fucking pissed off and who has just bitten his owner. Uh, and he hates Jews. <laughs> <laughs> to top it all off. You can't laugh at that. You can't laugh at that. <laughs> What'd you say, honey? <laughs> <laughs> so a neutered yes, anti-Semitic German Shepherd. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, that was the toughest call I ever had. 
Do you ever miss it? You ever wake up and you say, I wish I could catch one more dog? Do you ever catch and release dogs now, just in your private yeah. time? No, I, I just look the other way. Are you worried <laughs> that there's going to be a big dog situation and it's going to pull you in for one more big case? <laughs> No, I, I hope that doesn't happen. Uh, I, I, Holtzman, we need you. Get off the bench. <laughs> yeah, maybe like the movie Heat. Like, we got one more. We can't solve catch. this case, Holtzman. <laughs> yeah, that was something else. Was there a young guy on the force that you kind of gave some knowledge to before you left? No, I wasn't a mentor to anyone. <laughs> Did you have one friend at your job that you would talk to? But they were false friends. <laughs> Like work friends. You thought they were friends, but they stabbed you in the back in those cases. They're not, they're not your real friends. Yeah, too woke. You know they <laughs> fucked you. Right too. You know, I thought the woman who reported me, I thought was a friend. Yeah, that's why you're like, show me your hole <laughs> <laughs> as a friend. <laughs> you know, so you know you can't trust coworkers. You can't trust. You can't. Anybody. So no coworkers, friendships. Should it be illegal? You can't even trust your dad. The only one you can trust is your mom, and everybody knows that. Did your dad file a case against you? No, but uh, he gave testimony. <laughs> yeah. He went woke. <laughs> Andrew, I can't help but noticing your body posture is way sideways. <laughs> I'm trying to give Holtzman some space. I got, this, I got this shirt. You look nervous. I got, I'm this, not nervous. I got this shirt made in Thailand. Notice it has two pockets. Oh. Double breasted. <laughs> Every shirt should have two pockets. That's true. Yeah. But they yeah. don't. They don't because they just don't give one's a, a One's a business pocket, one's a party pocket. It's yeah. just great to have two. Why do the Thai people two. believe in the double pocket? Yeah. You got they, a handkerchief. No, I pocket. told them I wanted two pockets. Oh, you? This, special. this is a napkin from Denny's. Is that for... <laughs> <laughs> Why did you fold it so fancy? I wanted to make it look like a... Like, you know, like a handkerchief. I, I didn't want to, you know... Is that why you went to Denny's? You needed hey, a handkerchief? Too many secrets revealed. I love Denny's. So love you like Denny's. the two pockets for symmetry. You don't actually utilize them, do you? Sometimes I will, yes. If I don't want to bring my wallet out, I'll just put my <laughs> driver's license in there and the cash that I have and maybe a credit card. Maybe. Did you I mean, have you, 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 Look, what are you wearing? What are you wearing, <laughs> Billy Bob? <laughs> <laughs> Billy <black>. Bob. <laughs> now, you're a big pocket guy because sometimes on stage, I notice that you get your pockets actually extended. Oh, yeah. Look at the size of this pocket. <laughs> I had these pants made too. Look at the size. Look at, look at that pocket. That goes down to the knee <laughs> almost. It's it's like pocket. Antonio Brown's <laughs> penis. <laughs> you go to prison and have a guy hang on to two guys hang on look to at that. that. Look at that. Look at that. You've you yeah, big that hands. Is, that, that is, is way deep. down. People it, say, Why do you go to Thailand? What do you you gotta be someplace. When you're fucking alive on this planet, you've gotta be <laughs> physically someplace. What difference does it make? What am I gonna stay at the Cresta Mobile Home Park and rot <laughs> and fucking rot and watch Netflix till my brain leaks out of the side of my fucking ear? Seems like a good Why option. did you go there? Because I can, you motherfucker. Who's that? Who's giving you a hard time about? Everybody wants to know. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? We asked. Yeah. <laughs> shit, I like to travel. I like taking airplane rides. I like riding around. Is this a shot at us for asking that? No, no, no. This is not about you. Okay. <laughs> How's the how is your home right now? It was last we had talked, somebody had backed into your home and moved it over a couple of feet. It's been repaired. Okay. And so you're back to its regular setting. <laughs> so do you have any decorating tips for O'Neill since he uh is lacking in yeah, the department? You need yeah. some string art. Get some gasoline, pour it on the floor, <laughs> and light that bitch up and get the fuck out of there. Why do you hate his apartment so much? It yeah. reminds me of a crack house. <laughs> I walked in, I said, oh, who's got the cocaine? Let's start fucking, who's got the fucking uh, anthorol? What's the shit that's killing yeah, everybody fentanyl. now? Fentanyl. 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 Yeah. It's, hey, a, it's anthorol. Fentanyl. Hey, oh, fentanyl no, shooters. No, no, it's anthorol. <laughs> Is it uh, karaoke? Is that what you're looking for? <sighs> oh, yeah, I just didn't like it. It's it, it just. I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> Even the neighborhood's kind of sketchy. Did it make you mad that he has such a hot wife in such a shitty apartment? Jeez, oh, it made me. It made me feel sorry for her. You're crying about She's it. She's loving right it right now. You're wiping your eyes. <laughs> you can never really get those sleepy things out of your fucking eyes until like later in the day. For some reason, it's like they they hide out in the beginning and then. Uh, <laughs> Is this a bit? No, it's 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 a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> 
you want me to read another? Uh, yeah, please. Yeah, I would love please. it. Do you, do you have any uh, news? Have any noteworthy dear, news today? Are there any Dear items, John letters in there? Uh, uh, item, uh, items of interest? Yeah, and any sort of uh, great moments in history that took place today? Uh, I didn't... Uh... I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, I had some things. In there. You looking for something specific, or you just yeah, okay? Some things in here that I, really thought were, I really thought were funny. And I wanted to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what exactly is this book? It's just letters for all occasions. This is a uh, this is a dollar twenty five book. It's from nineteen fifty seven. It's a guide to social and business correspondence with three hundred. Model Letters and Telegrams by Alfred Stewart Myers. Letters for all occasions. I mean, it's real fucking simple, all right? Yeah. I don't know why people today can't wrap their, he- uh, uh, wrap their head around it. It's uh, Barnes & Noble, New York, since 1873. So that company's been around. And this is cop- copyrighted. Oh, my God. <laughs> 1952. So this is a wonderful, wonderful book. And I want to just, uh, <laughs> I want to read something that I thought was just funny. It's all hell. <laughs> you guys can talk amongst yourselves. Okay. 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 I'd like to get a letter in there someday if well, they ever reprint it. Well, they might do an update. Maybe Weech Cops should do a modern day. You said Weech Cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new show. Maybe Beach Cops should do a modern day version of this Why book. Why don't we write one as uh, the What's Up Man of Reddit and have Holtzman help us? Yeah, and then we'll do... All of the... Okay, here's one. Okay. This is on a child's death. <laughs> Classic time to write a letter when a child <laughs> dies. Fucking unbelievable. My, my dear Mr. Bendix, as a neighbor of yours, I want to express to you and your wife my deepest sympathy in the tragic death of your little daughter. <laughs> she was Seems loved- like this guy may have been involved. She was loved by all who knew her, and I know what a bitter loss you have suffered. I shall call on you, uh, on you personally a little later. <laughs> when I have more time. <laughs> In the meantime, let me know if there is anything I can do. Sincerely, Adam Egan. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so now does he mail this? Or does he just walk over to the neighbor and drop it in the mailbox? No, he this, reads it to them, and then he leaves. <laughs> this is a letter. Yeah, but how does he deliver it since it's the I neighbor? I guess he would use the U.S. post office. To just go right next door. What they don't tell you is that the daughter didn't die. That was a threat to or, the neighbor. Or maybe he could wrap the letter around a rock and <laughs> throw it through the front <laughs> fucking window. Danish loves the mystery. <laughs> I do love neighborly <laughs> mysteries. Here's another one. So three forms. Mail it, drop it off personally, or you said rubber band it to a rock, throw, throw it through it the window. Through the picture window. <laughs> That's a nice touch. <laughs> my my dear Mrs. Hayes, Mr. Morrow and I offer you and Mr. Hayes our most sincere sympathy in your recent loss. It is, I know, all the harder to bear since your son had shown such great musical promise. That makes it hard. To, like, if he had no talent, it would have been easy. <laughs> because he had that musical talent, this There's is another tough. one. Like that. He goes, Thank God your son was a loser. I know. <laughs> I know how this much, is easier. How much you. harder it would have been had he been excelled. This is no anything. loss at all. I heard him through the window playing the piano. <laughs> it was is, terrible. This is a gift to the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> With many others of your friends, we share your sorrow. Very sincerely yours. Janet Morrow. Beautiful. That's it. How many child loss letters are there in here? It's just amazing how people feel. You know, the West, the the way they feel about death in the West is like everybody, everybody's like so surprised when somebody dies. It's like, that's for young people. But when you get to a certain age, you should not be surprised anymore. The Queen of England. Do you think... Look at the Queen of Ingle. England. England? Of Inglewood. Yeah, Queen of Inglewood. Queen of Inglewood. Queen of Inglewood's still alive. She was a Boston the- Terrier and uh, a Holtzman Cotter in 86. <laughs> <laughs> and she had musical talent, so I hope she never dies. It'll make it all the harder. Dear Lydia and Nick, oh, I Lloyd and I sent send you our deepest sympathy in your <laughs> this is the same. How many chapters on child death are there? Jesus. In your grief over the untimely death of Geraldine. 
Oh, man. We are sharing your sorrow with you. Having known her so well, we appreciate a little of what you are going through. Appreciate. And we stand ready to do anything we possibly can. Well, get a shovel. Help us bury her. <laughs> do you have a spade? Yeah. Do you have a? Do you have some lawn equipment we can? Funerals park? are Cause, expensive. Because we're going to bury her. I mean, what can you do? She's dead. She's dead. What can you do to help? <laughs> Make a casserole. Appreciate what little uh, going through, and we're ready to do anything as possible we can to make your burden perhaps a little easier. We'll send over some food. Feed us for a year. <laughs> Affectionately, Grace. Robert wants to know if you could read some penthouse letters on oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm, Robert remembers. I remember penthouse letters. Oh, my God. You read those as a young lad. Very realistic. You're hard as a rock, man. Very realistic. Hard as a uh, fucking rock. Those were the days, huh? <laughs> Just reading a penthouse letter, and you were like, bang. Holy shit. Anybody got a vice? Yeah, right here. You can you, you use my dick. My, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Holy penthouse letters, yeah. You should go back to it, see if it, it was, still uh, has an effect on you. Holtzman letters. Holtzman, oh, the penthouse letters were great. Did they even still have the penthouse letters or the magazine? I think I think since people are filming themselves fucking, you don't need it as much. <laughs> yeah. They become a little obsolete. <laughs> I'm oh, sure somebody's man. still Why into it, though. Why don't you do uh, a book called Letters from Thailand by Brian Holtzman? Mm. Penthouse Letters from Thailand. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> $20 mm. motel. Today I fixed the doorknob. Mm. <laughs> and I saw a chick's butthole. <laughs> God, just show me with it. So anyway, condolences <laughs> about the loss of your daughter. Are there any other child loss that would letters be, in That's here. what you do. Do um, child loss condolence letters as penthouse letters. So <laughs> you you front load it with just a hot fuck tail and then say, anyway, I'm so sorry about the loss of Timothy. <laughs> he was a real talent. <laughs> he, he was amazing on the baseball field, and I'm sure that makes it a bitter loss. <laughs> Andrew, uh, could you hand this to Brian? Somebody suggested they, uh, that he read uh, a little, yes. little, little bit of this. Yeah, we have something for you to read, <laughs> since we love the way you read. Hold on. Yeah, this there. dyslexia is not uh, stopping okay. you in your tracks. Do we want to set it up for him? Uh, I, think really, just, I think just give it to him to read. Okay. You're quite the reader. This is uh, Brian Reads, a new segment on Beach Cops. Is it a very odd way to hold the computer? <laughs> He's never held one before. <laughs> you need me to... I don't know what's happening. He's doing the cross. Uh, okay, exterior beach day. Our beach cops sit on the beach watching an old portable television. It's their favorite show. So-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so -so butts. Celebrity <laughs> battle edition, nose versus butts. <laughs> Jackie, look at him eat it. Dakin, he's undefeated. He knows every ass he's ever eaten. <laughs> Chauncey, wow, what's this? They're breaking in with some bullshit news? From the TV, reporter, Commissioner of Police Latard resigns because it was found out that he is not really French. It turns out he changed his name to make himself sound more French to get the converted French vote. To right this wrong, a real Frenchman has been hired. Adam Eget. <laughs> <laughs> that's a screenplay that's in production right now wow yeah. give me a give me a pod i'm in the union <laughs> you can play all three all jeff richards in town making a movie is he what's he yeah. jeff richards is in town he's making a movie he lives in town no, no he moved he, he moved, moved to florida what he's in portland I florida heard. didn't work out now he's in portland why did yeah. florida not work out uh, sometimes you everybody get in out of florida, florida knows everybody's moving there so they're jacked up all the rents and everything and it's like just to rent an apartment in florida they want to go through your whole history and your whole uh you know go in the hole you got a trump uh, baby and it was just too expensive he didn't have a car so he, where in florida was he he was uh you know does it matter? <laughs> you know, I, guess alleg really, yeah. I guess not. Alligator Alley. Yeah, let's live in a place where an alligator can come up right on your front lawn. That's yeah. happening right yeah. now. Yeah. People are going back to their homes. There are alligators in their living rooms. Oh, this they, is all promotion. They, they, alligator that. squatters. Yeah. This is all promotion for that. Uh, they Lyle, can't evict them. Lyle Crocodile yeah. movie. If alligator squatter rights <laughs> in this, is, in this fucking true. woke country of ours. Huh? Are there any alligator letters in there? My dear Mr. Graham, yes. please accept my most sincere sympathy in the death of your father. <laughs> what the fuck? I had the privilege of meeting him last month it's, in your office. It's the same. I shall always remember his delightful personality, and I realize how great 
is your loss. Also, he fingered me when I was six years old. (laughs) Great musician. (laughs) One of the best (laughs) blowjobs I ever got was from your old man. Unbelievable. (laughs) Unbelievable condolence letter to to get. (laughs) Your father had one of the thickest hogs I've ever seen. I used to call him daddy lips. Hog alert. Hog alert. (laughs) That's the start of the condolence letter. Are you saying saying hog alert or hog alert? Hog alert. I just heard that your big dick father passed away. No, a hogler is somebody that negotiates with huge cocks. Uh, Yeah, by sucking them. The employees in my department join me in this expression. Well, that doesn't By the way, do you think he actually... I hope they all signed off on that. The employees were behind this letter or no? I don't know. You know, you know, you just never know in an, a in a condolence letter what 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 yeah. what, what, what really is going you to, on. You have to follow up. You have yeah. to do some you some know, investigative you reporting. Know what the motives are, you know? <laughs> exactly. These condolence letters have gotten well, too woke. I will say this is right in your wheelhouse because you do some of the best eulogies at funerals that I've ever seen. That's true. And I've seen three of them. Only one miss was Brody Stevens. Freddie, How dare you? <laughs> Freddie, Fre- Freddie Soto at uh, Freddie Soto's Celebration of Life. That I told was, the uh, audience. Uh, there was a virgin there. I said. Is that uh, true? Yes. A I, man. I said, uh, yes. You said, I'll cornhole you. <laughs> that what you said? <laughs> yes, he did. fucking funeral? Yes, Is that did. for real? <laughs> yes. And you legit, you told but, the guy you would cornhole him. But, then, so but then it like got emotionally <laughs> touching in one speech. What range? I said, the first time I met Freddie, he was removing my stereo from my vehicle. (laughs) (laughs) I remember that speech like it was yesterday. You said, all these fucking hookers I see out there, they couldn't have died. You got to take this guy. You got to take a, you got to take one of the good ones. (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. Then the, then you, you started screaming at the virgin in the front row. And you go, I'll call it all you bitch. <laughs> and then everyone was everyone was crying and laughing. Yeah. At the same, it was one of the most touching moments I've ever seen. Did you end up cornholing that guy? No. Oh. No. Even no. though he had a hole ready to go, he, knew he was, was ready no. to be corned. God. It, and then he's M- clean. Mitzi's eulogy was pretty great too. You uh, you plugged a lot of your days. On that one. <laughs> <laughs> For about five minutes. I think it was longer than that. <laughs> And I think you gave your brother's address and said he needed that money. That was a or great, very, that was uh, also, people were laughing and crying. So touching. I forgot I had two pockets. Yeah. You're, you're, they call you two pockets. <laughs> Johnny, two pockets. Do you ever talk to me? They call you Brian, two pockets. Do you ever talk they to They also call you Biggie Pockets. Biggie, hog, hog, <laughs> hog alert. <laughs> Biggie, ho- Biggie, hog pockets? <laughs> hog pockets sound like a delicious treat. It sounds like a fucking worn out butthole. No, it's the, Biggie the, hog the, pockets? the hot pockets is over. The hog pockets. In. Uh, my wife pegged me last night. I got a real hog pocket today. <laughs> 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 Hog pockets. <laughs> this guy won't let his wife peg him. Did you know that? Uh, do you know what pegging <laughs> is, Brian? Uh, I have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> this guy won't do it either. But he's got a medical excuse. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's got a medical excuse. He Cur- has a note, note from his he's doctor. Like, yeah. Currently, yeah, currently. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much diarrhea. I get medically it. pegged. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he finds his in the, in the doctor's office. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what else did you buy in uh, Thailand? You got a nice shirt, I nice bought pants. Seven hundred dollars worth of clothes. You're like Ari Shafir gets his Whoa. suits in Thailand. Some of them in Thailand. Is that true? Yeah. And uh, I bought some. Uh, what do you for seven hundred dollars? What do you get? A crate full, like got, one of those uh, shipping containers. Get a sweatshop, a children. I, I bought a white suit. Whoa, whoa. Colonel Sanders. I bought a... Seersucker? An Asian... Uh, no, dick sucker. <laughs> Asi- an Asian He's suit. got a classic southern dick sucker suit. <laughs> Three pairs of pants and seven shirts. Jeez, for $700. <laughs> Came back with a whole new wardrobe. Wow. Sounds like you went to Nordstrom Rack, Thailand. It's yeah. expensive. No, it wasn't expensive. Do you bring an empty suitcase? Because you know you're, you're going to be... No, up. I had it in a garment bag. All right. Jeez. No, sorry. Yeah, By the way, why not just buy a suitcase in Thailand? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, you're bringing empty suitcases on the plane. Maybe he likes his own case. I don't, I don't know what he's got going on. We have a question for you. Oh, Holtzman. wow. Great. What's uh, your inch limitation on pegging? 
Uh, <laughs> three, three to four. Three oh, to four. very John. similar to John Little. John Bring Little. a fucking book, huh? John Little moved out of town too. Yeah. 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 Yep. He was back recently. We were at Manhattan. And Joey Beach. Gaynor moved to Arizona. Yeah, that's his roommate said. Go to Arizona, or I'm gonna kill you Wait, right here. Joey Gator has a roommate. He did. Wasn't he the? Is he the real estate guy? He's been around a long time. He's uh, a no, comic. Comic. Yeah. yeah I, don't, I know the name familiar. I don't and know. Harris Pete just got a call. Uh, he they got, they want him to do some new uh, voiceover work on the Runny and Snippy. Oh, Ronnie and Snippy's coming back. Yeah. <laughs> is, this a, is this a real show? Ronnie and Snippy. It's a cartoon. You don't speak old food? Ronnie and Snippy. <laughs> Ronnie and Snippy. <laughs> With Earl Sankel. He's playing the father on, was on the jellies. Is it true that Harris Pete had a deal when he was starting out with Jay Leno and David Letterman that if one of them made it, they would help the other make it? I'm not aware of any deal. Is it true okay. Harris Pete's a born but again? I am Christian. aware of pegging. <laughs> Hog alert! This guy, this guy won't let his wife do it. He was even showing off his butt last episode. How how round and juicy it was, and his wife is at home. She can't. She can't. Yeah, my take wife it. is at home watching live, going, "Oh man, you guys should be at Skankfest. This would be a great podcast." They won't have <laughs> us. No, have you? Have you? We're too. We're too crazy for Skankfest. We're too. Are you we, kidding? we went too woke. I don't know. We went to Skankfest one year, and they never invited us back. Which which location? Yeah, you got, you're, you're going back. Which, which lo- location? We did uh, Wh- Skankfest Wichita. Yeah. Wichita? Yeah, was yeah in- off of Frontage Road. <laughs> 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 we did the uh, Skankfest Boulevard of Cars <laughs> Festival. <laughs> Next to the good Michaels in town. Hog alert. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that sometimes people send us pictures of their penises and we rate them on this show? Would you like really? to see? Would you like to see some of them? <laughs> uh, that would be delightful. Some of them were here's terrible. A, here's a letter, <laughs> dear Beach Cops. I write to you with my penis in hand. <laughs> I, I, like, I just took a picture of it. I like the title of this this presentation. How did you come up with Beach Cops? That's nice. It's uh, Danish came up with it. Somebody based on we an know. old. Uh, you might actually know this guy, but we won't say his name. Legally, we're not allowed to. Yeah, uh, he once wanted us to star in a web series about beach cops and the and the lost boogie board. And what happened? <laughs> it didn't never came to fruition. Yeah, <laughs> it never happened. He made dudes in bed with them instead. Yeah, he uh, had Coercion. Jeff and I take off our clothes and get in bed with him as a talk show. <laughs> it was supposed to be a parody of women having sleepovers and doing all their talking. Yeah, didn't, um, go, didn't go so. Turns well. out. Not that Wasn't fine. really like that. Did anybody get their salad eaten? <laughs> no. <laughs> what happened? That would have been an salad opportunity eaten. for you. <laughs> for him. He was under the sheets. I went in there and I saw him as my first met him. I was like, hell, get me out of here. <laughs> I've been here for two weeks. This guy's been eating my ass 24 <laughs> 7. Is there a lot of ass eating in Thailand? Oh, I imagine there is. <laughs> what about what about Morocco? What about Morocco Casino? Marrakesh. <laughs> Marrakesh and Casablanca. I want to go back to Tangier. Tangier was great. What's your really? favorite cuisine in the world? Oh, I like good food. Do you bring your hot mustard with you? Because I notice when you're in L.A. <laughs> eating Chinese food or Asian food, you, you always have, have the hot mustard. You gotta have hot mustard. Do you travel with it? I don't travel with it, but I do <laughs> seek it out wherever I go. You know, I saw you with those lobster tails. Have you ever entered a lobster tail eating? Uh, a lobster fest type of <laughs> yeah. function? Yeah. Competition. <laughs> Is that after Skank Fest? Skank Fest, <laughs> Skank Fest. Mm. Mm. Is it true you get paid in lobster tails to do Skank Fest? <laughs> oh, yeah, all old, old lobster tails. <laughs> a suitcase of old lobster tails. Fucking lobster tails. Do you ever go down to, uh, <laughs> there's the place just in Baja here. Like an hour over the border. I won't be in Mexico. Going, uh, an hour over the border. Porto Lobster. Navar- Porto Navardo. I Lobster think it Town. Is. Uh oh, I hear they, the they have lobsters there. <laughs> they have great lobster tails. You go there, you get yeah. for fifteen dollars, you get a shitload of lobster. Come tails. back without a head. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be your stomach will still be full of lobster. Yeah, you um, diarrhea. We're swi- <laughs> we're switching over to the Patreon now. We are. Do you have anything you need to plug? So the mass oh, people yeah. will you can plug see Andrew's this. ass if you're into that. Come and no, see me no, no, at no, the, uh, the table. The, uh, let the, me see what the San Francisco is. Adult Show. Chinatown. China, uh, Chinatown. Chinatown. Star Theater in Chinatown. Oh, you know this? 
He did some yeah, my, I bought my family tickets to the show. Bring them all. Br- bring them all. Bring them all. You've got a sticker of yourself on your phone. Yes. The interesting thing about your promotional stickers is it does not say your name. <laughs> it does. So you, you lead the it, it, very it, it small does. writing. It, it says BrianHoltzman.com. You lead them into a mystery. It does. It's real small. Here it is. Okay. What is this now? This says uh, you can the roast of Count Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? This guy. This guy. <laughs> It's not over. <laughs> Featuring Frankenstein's monster, the wolf man, the invisible man, Blackula, Bride of Frankenstein, Pro- Pope Francis. Nosferatu's going to be there. Whoa. What and a day. It's hosted by Renfield, and it also says there's a dance party. <laughs> wow. It's, it's 8 p.m. to late, October 28th and 29th at the Great Star Theater. And there's going to be vampire burlesque. Ch- 